Hello everyone and welcome back. So, recently I downloaded the DLC for Kingdoms and Castles. You might have noticed it in my previous gameplays, but I'm now going to try to dedicate this video for that DLC since I wanted to make a separate video for that, and then we are going to use it more after this. So, I didn't even know there was until a friend pointed out there was a DLC for this game and was kind of shocked that I didn't even know that it had a DLC because he watched my videos, so shout out to you. Um, <laughs> so we're going to be using the DLC a little bit more in depth. Um, just going to play around and, you know, see what they have and try to decorate the best we can because from what I understand, there's a lot of parks and I believe statues. I, I'm not fully sure what it fully brings, but... We're just going to have fun this video. It's We're going to have another uh, Kingdoms and Castles this week on Friday. So, yeah. That being said, enjoy the video. Ah, uh, yes. Another game of Kingdoms and Castles. Really makes my blood boil. Welcome back, you salty squids. So, I, I tried making, a, like, another intro into the video. Kind of, like, starting off. And then my phone literally starts buzzing like crazy. And apparently, like... I, I was just so distracted because apparently my stock went up and like I got like $500 in literally like a split second. So it was kind of like, you know, I was distracted and then other people started texting me because they were also in the same stock and they, you know, it, it was just a mess. But anyway, yeah, so pretty much our goal here is going to be just playing around with the DLC. I'm not sure if I said that in my intro or not, but we are going to do a roughly around 300 years. So you know how it goes. We're going to have some fun. So... I am going to start using the DLC more in my videos after this. I'm not sure how often. Well, okay, it really depends like what the purpose is here. Because I... It's really interesting. I, I saw the DLC on Steam. I didn't really look into it and what it really provided. Even though I sh actually should have before I started this video. But, you know, you're going to get my raw reaction on it. And I know I had this for a while. And one of my friends said, hey, why, why aren't you using it? And I said, because I'm waiting for a video. And this is kind of the video. So, eh. <laughs> you know, it really depends on how well we do. If we, if we hit 300 and we want to do more, we'll do more. But most likely, it's just going to be something quick. Uh, when, eh, not really quick. So, we're going to kind of do our normal setup where we have kind of like a divider in between. Um, some people actually... Um, want me to do a video on how I start and how I play and how I think so I'm actually might just do that in the future along with a new updated guide Which I keep saying I'm gonna do but I haven't uh. Now people are also asking about Mert everything's all right with her um, If you caught my stream, I kind of actually skipped my stream today to spend time with her um, Should have maybe well, okay The problem with twitch is you can't really do anything like that like send like an announcement like that I think so, you know Oh well, um, YouTube isn't really my job, so I'm not really gonna really, you know, be set in stone on certain things. Um, even though I should maybe start doing that if I really want to make a career out of this, or at least get paid on the side. It wouldn't be bad. I really do wish for it to take off, but just with everything going on, I just can't really multitask like that. I do have other projects in the background. Um, I am going to try to set up a viewer um, kind of Minecraft let's play thing on a server that I played. Actually, it was one of my first servers and um, I played it with a friend till he got banned um, for some reason. But, you know, I'm, I might just do something like that. I need to just double check with um, if the server can handle it. Uh, I know a few people said they wanted to play with me, so I might just do some play long videos and stuff like that. That's more viewer based. So, you know, if you want to be part of that, check out my channel. Uh, someone's password, same as here. Um, it's down in my description. So if you want to catch me when I'm streaming, go ahead. I sometimes stream on Saturdays or Sundays, and then we have a set schedule that even then I'm not even fully committed to. So it's like, sorry about that. There's not much I can do. So, hmm. <clears throat> trying to think here now how do we want to go about this so farm over here we need to actually start building the farm yeah we need to actually start building that farm so let's so this is where the treasury is going to be so this is where the farm is going to be so let's I'm trying to think how i want to set this up now we're going to have to do this 
three. Okay, perfect. And then what I can do is put like a garden right here, go along this way, kind of like make it fancy looking. Also, I like the light lightning storms. So one of the mods actually I was actually gonna look into was the natural disasters mod. It kind of just vanished off the face of the earth and no one has seen it since. So I'm not sure if they just de like delisted it. If it was like, I'm not sure what happened to it. And it's kind of concerning to me that it's just just disappeared like it honestly just surprises me someone asked about the mod i try to look into it for them and then it just doesn't exist like it, it's it's wacky it's crazy it's weird we have a slow start i'm so we do have tons of stone one two three four five five stones so, yeah uh six seven do we have an eight no eight yep Two, three, four, five. Uh, I think that's eight. We have three, four, four iron nodes. Hmm. Um, not really much we can do. I wish the elevation mod wasn't so laggy. I really do, and I, I just love that mod because of like all you can do, like using the mountains at to your advantage. It does take time for that to happen, but I just, oh, I absolutely, I absolutely love that. Um, I think his name was Agent Fox who made it. If you're watching this, cool. Keep up the good work. I don't think you're watching this. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. So, mm, okay. So I actually kind of went and I actually learned a little bit more about the granary. Um, I understood what the priority is for them. And it's not really that important, especially earlier games. So I, I can just leave it at that it, as that is. Uh. <laughs> Let's get the farmers up, though. Okay, maybe not. There we go. Uh, everyone's hungry, though. That's something I'm concerned about. A lot of people are hungry. Please, come on, pick it up. Pick it up. Come on. Yeah, that one, too. Okay, good. Yeah? 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 Tell me more? Good. <laughs> oh, there's one missing. Shucks. All right. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, we still have a lot of people hungry, which, you know, I kind of expected. Let's try to add more homes. Yeah, that's a lot of homes. Uh, two, four. I'm trying to count this out. Two, four, six, eight. I want to make it ten now. Two, four, six, eight. Wait, two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, so it's going to be like right about here then. Good. Okay, so that stone node is going to be a little tricky. I might just be able to make, make it slim by if I make him go over this way. I might do a giant stone thing here too. Those two are... I hate this when they're so close together like that. I really do. So let's get a forester down. I know I want to get that. Um, I mean, this is all like farmland though, like potential farmland. I don't know what I fully want to do with that. Uh, granary, granary workers. I'm just going to put it up here. We don't really need to worry about that. Now, we do need a lot of wood. Let's do that. Hmm. We may as well work up to a large tavern. We're actually doing really good on stone, though. All right? Yeah, treasury room. Get that right about there. Get rid of that. And then... Wow, that was all my stone. I feel a little sad. Now, I kind of want to, I definitely want to utilize the fish. I want to peer this off so we actually have defense. And then, hmm, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Oh, a fire. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this here. I'm definitely not going to peer off the entire island, even though I could, but it would take a long time, and I just don't feel like that. Um... Uh, yeah, I need to do it. Oh, yeah, I need to do the tips and tricks guide. Oh, well. <laughs> I, I totally forgot someone wanted me to do that. So let's get one. Yeah, why not? Zero. Perfect. I love that. So we are... Oh, it's not even there yet. Okay, now it is. Tax collectors. Orchidists. I don't, I keep butchering that word. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I'm okay with not saying it right, though. So we have this up. It's year eight. 
Uh, we definitely have some more leeway. Six people, that's really good. <laughs> Six people. I'm trying to think of what else we can do here. We're actually storing food. Hmm. I want to increase my stone supply since we have those two. So we get about... Five? That doesn't sound right. Really? Wait, what? Only five? What? That's crazy. Ah, uh, that doesn't sound right to me. Wait, wait, let me double check this. Five still? Okay. Um... Something seems off right there. I don't think it was five. That would be like ten. And yeah, that doesn't feel like five. So... Let's build defenses around this. Oh, it's everything's actually pretty close together. Um, the farm actually is turning out the way I want it to go. Because um, what I'm trying to do now in my gameplay is kind of make things easier to defend by keeping my castle close to my farm. And then also kind of surrounding all my um, homes at the very beginning. With only a very little outside the radius. But, you know, trying to, <laughs> trying to make everything work doesn't always happen. So, I think, I think right about here would work. Two, two, we'll get, we'll get three up there, why not? We got about five gold, so about five a year. Fifty, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Fifty-five a year, that sounds about reasonable. I was so confused on that. So, now we're going to get the foresters up, so we, then we should get tavern okay so then we're gonna have that up hopefully soon okay don't know what you're doing okay there we go man it's a slow grind i know a lot of people love the start so i'm gonna try to record this as long as possible uh fruits i don't want to do another well, actually we got five more people Mm, they're what three each so all those builders would become foresters i don't want to lose i don't want to stop the stone production but i might actually have to i want to increase my fo uh, food <laughs> i'm just having trouble here should i should have maybe brought water honestly that would have been a good idea yeah oh well so, mm, yeah yeah here we have this not fully stopped so i think we're in a pretty good position so it is year 10 we're still getting five people each year so that's actually pretty good i really wish this would hurry up though oh there we go four workers each time okay so we're gonna have a little bit of a dilemma oh yeah i definitely want this on the bottom then okay so now we're starting to get wood good so then we just need to wait a little bit on that. Foresters are there. I am not going to... Uh, there's a den right there. I don't want to really mess with that. I want to get more people, though. Hmm. What we could do... Build a road up. Right about here. And then what we can do is charcoal makers, like, right on this section right here. Is what I'm thinking. Um, because I normally keep it by the forester. Makes sense. Where is he going? What are you? Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, my... I was confused for a second. I was like, this guy is like stealing my own wood. Or stealing our wood, I should say. So, got everything pretty much set up. We got the houses kind of the way we want it. We need tavern, which is going to be 70 wood. I don't want to do this, but... Well, actually, I think I can make it work. So we have four, four, I mean, three foresters, 30 a year. Definitely need more than that, though. Keep that down there. So we're going to have this going up to 65. Once we do that, we're going to actually kind of pump out, pump and dump, you know? I don't know if I can say that or not. Oh, this is going to be quite a castle. Now, I do want to start, oh, wait, do I have enough? Ah, uh, just a little bit more. And then we can have it. So, yeah. Uh, building... Ooh, oh, okay, never mind. We're still making wood. Um, stone is a little bit rough right now. This is going to be a little rough. Oh, wait, actually, I should have maybe not built that right there. It's out of our range. I'm kind of worried about a attack now. 
I really actually want to get that archer tower up, but I want to get I want to get the oh stockpile. There we go. Yeah, put it like right here. I want to get that stockpile up. I really want to organize my resources so I can build faster. I don't know what it is, but it's always like the stockpile. I always love it when everything's organized so I can just. You know, be an absolute speed demon, I should say. Uh, <laughs> hmm. What's my phone at? 52% because I do have to go eat <laughs> in the middle of this recording this video. So, ooh. Okay, we're all good over there. Uh, Wood is now doing fine, co-workers. Okay, now we've gotten about nine. We need them to... Oh, here comes the dragon. 20 gold we can actually pump it kind of just push it oh nice the house is on fire and the dragon didn't even do anything yet i love this already so how much am i making about 52 a year if i keep it for a full year that's a big that's pretty big i'm just building it so we built it but i'm gonna turn it right off after 52 though that's impressive. If we can hold that and get 52, I'm going to be so happy. Because we are actually right next to um, water. So we can just put a dock right here. Oh, right here. Oh, right here. Road. And then, oh, right here can be where the next um, warehouse is. Or stockpile, I mean. I'm actually kind of interested about that. Oh, here comes a dragon. Kingdom was not happy. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. So let's actually stop the archers really quick. Don't really want to deal with that. So now we just need to organize enough to where... Let's organize our characters a little bit. Let's turn this off. So then we get more stone and quarry workers and all that fun jazz. So... Nope, we need 35 stone. Great. So I think what I'm going to do is try to... Ooh, mm, me, mm, ooh, just in some water. I don't know what to do here. Okay, so... Clinic Parks. Ooh. Is it all parks? Oh! Whoa! Wait, are these, these are definitely cheaper. Oh! Some easy... Oh! Some easy, uh, what was it? Statues. Ooh. This is actually pretty cool, though. I actually do like it. Okay. I understand this. <laughs> I understand the abilities I could do with this thing. I'm not going to use it, though. I'm going to try to conserve the best I can. But definitely going to place a clinic. Ooh, I can put the war thing there. Clinic can go right here. So we have it. Now we need a church, and now that we don't have have to worry about stone, we can actually either make a full-on church or a library. And I kind of want to just make a library, because it's just so easy. Man, life. Get a water right there. I do want to get rid of this one, and then put a... Ooh, no, I don't think it's going to... Yeah, it won't work. Ah! library right here though would actually be pretty good it's just gonna look a little weird ah. so i'm just gonna see if i can just dump money right now get the money i need to do it oh i can just make a hospital let's be built different wait oh okay i see so this seems like a small kind of thing one pest oh let's look at the park shrubs oh Goblet of flowers. With an additional bonus if irrigated? Ooh. A lot of money. Pond? Not bad. Just get like a nice... Ooh. Oh, we have the, the housing mod too. Oh, let's lower this. We have that housing mod too, so we can actually um, make it look nice for the people there. I totally forgot about that. So we actually have... Ooh, I just need to think of how I'm going to do this though. But we, we do have it. We we do have the potential for this. Um, deeply unhappy they'll riot soon. They're moving up to 73 though. Uh, they're just taking forever. Eh, I'll cry about it. 
Now, no Vikings yet. I uh, kind of worried about it a little bit. I want to place a church, but I kind of don't want to at the same. I want to, but then the library. I want to so bad. Like, the library is smaller, but then does like the same amount of happiness or whatever that the church does. It just costs more gold. I want to do it. I, I really do. Uh, let me change this a little bit. Let me see how things are. Okay, okay. Doctors, okay. Makes sense. Good. Um... I, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna do it. I, I really want it. I really do want it. So badly. Now, it's gonna be a little... Okay, our resources are actually pretty good. Now, the problem is, though, what am I gonna do about homes? Oh, never mind. We don't have the money to do anything. Good place another forester, but we don't really need that. Um. Oh, we could do something like this. Yeah. Uh-oh. Money's going down. Oh, no. That means we need more. Uh, this is not good. I kind of... Did I just, like, financially trap myself in a, in a way I don't want it to be? Uh-oh. <laughs> so, money... Not good. Um, kind of don't have the homes to do that yet. I'm gonna actually, ooh, out of nine people, four stayed. That's really good. Yeah. Hmm. We need to lower our costs. We might. We're gonna have to drop the librarians really quick, along with our doctors. Just to save, just save some money, you know? Just like spending costs, you know? It's just gotta slash it to a point where you don't have any financial aid or healthcare and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, we don't have any Vikings, but we know there's a dragon, so. Oh no, what will I ever do? Wait a minute. Did I count wrong? Okay, no, I didn't. Okay, good. So. Let's let's just cut these homes out. Just get rid of some of these like sluggish homes. To be honest, I I'm on. Ooh, it actually goes up. Because if the more we remove these homes, the more happier people will be. As we could just as we just did right here, like that, and then do that, and then now people are gonna be happier. As long as our population doesn't go up to 90, which I think we're fine. I, I really do. I think we got this. Oh, and that's already up. See? Look at that. Resources. Now, they might be a little sad due to no charcoal, which we can easily fix. But do I want to? No. Do I have to? Yeah. Oh, we don't even have full 60. Ooh, 33%. Ooh, this hurts. That house is quick, though. I just drop that. Make people happy. Just straight up just goes to the top home. Uh oh. 32. I'm here for happiness, not depression. Oh, it's raining. Please don't burn that. Now, we need to get a large. Oh, okay, never mind. Perfect. And now I think we're all set. So here we are at year 50. So we actually got a lot done. We expanded the farm, we expanded our houses, changed all that, and currently working on a new section of housing as we speak. So I didn't really use as much. Okay, I used a little bit. Actually, eh, I, I didn't really use as much of the stuff I wanted to right now. I did set this up right here. Yeah, look at that. Mm. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this tower, though. So look at that. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to keep this here for now until we have a little bit more security on our defenses. Actually, I might as well just move it now, actually. Since, you know, I want to actually start building here and not really be terrified of everything. Uh, I did... I want another one of these towers, I think, over here or somewhere over here as well. So we can get more going. Excuse me. 
And we set this up so we can actually get tools. I've been trying to do this more often, set up blacksmiths and, you know, use the iron so we can actually, you know, progress here. Our stone actually is being, is actually pretty good. But the problem is, though, we don't have enough people to cover all of it. Ooh, yeah. So we need about 76 out of 62. So we do have that problem. Okay, he's running. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Well, that one hurts a little bit. And that one also hurts. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want... Uh, come on, guys. Water? Why did the water... Oh. Well, that is not good. Why is my... Whoa, wow. Everything got messed up down here. Whoa, okay. Um. Yeah. Um. Apparently, a lot of things got messed up when I added things. That's beautiful. I'm so happy. Oh, boy. And now we have tons of homeless. Great. Uh, let's see if we can fix this now. Aqua, da da da, cemetery. Okay. Stockpile, blacksmiths. Blacksmiths down here. Oh, the miners. Bakers up here. Kind of just fix it so it's just easier to look at and maintain. Flare G. I get that up there. Mason's up there. Chocolate makers. I'll leave it down there. Dock workers. Stockpile. We can turn that off and on it whenever we want. Quarry makers are always on top. Charcoal. Okay, perfect. We kind of have it where we want. Now this. This is going to be... Okay, we're fine. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, that's not even better either. So I've noticed something too. I put a well over here. And for some reason that um, the villagers weren't using the well um i noticed that and i was kind of confused by that um i'm not sure if that's a bug that's going on <laughs> or what but I, I i think it stopped i'm not fully sure on that i don't want to say something and then it not be true now let's just start making the mass exodus of houses so then people can just really quit their jobs and then really just fuck up my economy yep <laughs> That looks about right. So, we're going to try to get this up. I am going to try to wall this part off right here, get it a little chunk, and then I'm, I'm most likely going to peer off the top and the side right here so they only go up or to the left. Because um, I'm kind of worried about where what's going to happen. I do want to just play without any worries, but I know for that fact that's not going to happen. So let's, hmm... Let's get some more stuff here. What can we add here? A stone to well, actually, let's get this out of the way. So, what can we add? Also, one thing I really do love that the like walkways actually connect to the ponds and pools and stuff like that. That I really love that. It's like a small detail that goes a long way for me. Now, I'm trying to think of what I want to do here. What do I want to put right there? I want to put like a little park. I mean, we could just add a shrub road to be honest. That might be the best. Um, I didn't really want that church there, but it just kind of happened. We can actually move it and then put something over here. Well, we can put another statue over there. Okay, that's what we can do. Actually, so I actually thought about putting a cathedral here. Yeah, it wouldn't have worked. So I thought about putting a cathedral there, but I didn't because I had a feeling it would not work. Now, we could put a cathedral there or over here, but I think we should put it like right here. And I'm saying that because we could add additional houses behind it, right? One, two, three, four. Yep, we can. So we can add additional houses behind it. And then on top of that, we can um, uh, decorate it on the sides if we want to. So let's actually put a hospital over here, too. My, our builders are going to be going crazy. And it's not, a, it's not a good kind of crazy, though, because, like, we have so much. Well, actually, never mind. Uh, a lot of the houses are being made really quickly. So I'm actually really good, really happy with the idea because I'm trying to improve my road infrastructure so that we can have the max efficiency instead of them doing this. We have them doing this. So let's see what we can do down here to kind of like open up the park. So I want to do this and then now let's add another statue. So I can't... <laughs> a fish statue. Okay. What kind of statue? So we got Lord Levy, Lion, Oh, a knight. Oh, Aw, it's only a one but Okay. I wish it was a big one. So we're just going to add a, uh, just a normal statue. So we got Ling Bai. We're going to add the dragon here. So we have two, um, two right there. So let's add a little bit more right here. So let's add 
this is a walkway, I think. So let's add Tree of Glory. Ooh. That actually would have been nice right here. Oh well. Uh, what do I want to add here? There's like so much here that I want to add. But I just might want to keep it... So Ooh. No, that doesn't look good. I kind of don't like how small the flags are in games, and that's one of them. What was that? Okay. Spike row and shrub row and reflecting pond. I think the reflecting pond would look better. Yeah. Let's do this. And then people are sick somewhere, so let's just do... Uh, like, there's so much I want to do here. I just don't know what I want to do. Now... Shrub row could be nice. Row of trees, though. I feel like... Yeah, let's get this really quick. I'm not sure what I want to do here, because I do want to decorate. Like, if I have a church, I want to decorate it. But I also do need to increase my money. Holy, what just happened? Oh, wow. Wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot these cost a lot. So... Spike row. How would that look? Yeah, it might work. Who knows? See, now, this is one thing I don't like, where, like, it doesn't clip to the buildings. Like, if it, like, went to the entrance right here, I would have loved that, but it doesn't, so I'm kind of saddened by that. Now, wait, why, why don't you have charcoal? Okay. Um, kind of crazy. Let's increase our population again. I really just population boosted, by the way, so it's kind of like I'm on a roll right now, and I just want to keep it that way. We need to get rid of all these, and then, well, no don't have to kind of oh wait a minute we can put it right here yeah we can put that right there now we just ho gotta hope the vikings don't burn it uh we also do need to increase our defense so that's something i'm gonna actually kind of do right now that actually targets that so i'm actually happy of that so we could just do this put it right here and then I almost pressed T, thinking it was going to work for overhead view, since I'm used to using that. And then... Oh, do, 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 do. There we go. Can I just do this? Don't like that. Oh, wait. Move it down one. Uh-oh. Did I just mess it up? Okay, there we go. Kind of got to work. Yep, perfect. Full view. I think yeah i'm so used to it being bigger <laughs> oh my god um so i'm not sure oh they want a tavern wink put it about right there I, I keep forgetting how they work so i'm just gonna put it like that uh churches and homes we have a church i i, w I really wish that was bigger thanks for that um i really love that wait does this oh i wish this worked as water are you kidding me <laughs> Really? I could... Okay. Okay, game. But what, what are you doing here? That's that's not a funny... That's not a funny one. That wasn't funny. I'm not laughing. I am a little bit, actually, because that was just perfectly timed. So, yeah. I think we have what we kind of want here. Like, a little setup system here. So, we kind of have 800. I want to... I don't know how far I want to get here, because there's just so much I want to do. I want to get a high population... But I don't think that's going to happen. Well, okay, maybe once we get this going, it's going to be. Um, let's get some barracks, because I do want to use these eventually as well. Let's move them over here. This can be like a military courtyard or something. I don't even know where to put it. Actually, no, it would make sense to put it over here then. And then what we can also do is a great library... I mean, corners are pretty hard, but if I set it up like this... Oh, wow, I can't. Never mind. Wait, what if I set it up? Okay, so let me kind of make a little road here on what I want. So we're going to kind of have a 4x4 four four right here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Kind of a 4x4 four four right here, and then it's going to be kind of a road right here. Yeah, 4x4. Four four. And then this is going to go down, this is going to go down, and then we kind of have what we want right here. And then what we're going to do is put the Great Library right about here. Yeah. And then that's going to cover these two areas over this way, and we're going to get a happier population. And then what I'm also going to do is kind of decorate it a little bit. 
So let's, let's, how do we want to do this? A tree right here, which we can't really do much with because we have dogs right there. Or, not dogs, what am I saying? Wolves. Eh. Um, alright. So yeah, I'm going to be trying to work on this when we get back. And we're hopefully going to have like a mini military and clear out all the wolves. This is hopefully going to look so much different and going to make it look nice the best I can. Alright, so this is year uh 110 and as you can see we got a lot done in about 60 years um i kind of skipped over year 100 because i was in the bit of uh, um planning of a lot of things so i decided to kind of skip it and kind of you know jump forward a little bit so as you can see we really focused on defenses well okay so how this really went out was i really focused on this line first on defenses so this is kind of a line, so we have a moat, a wall, and then the main wall. So then if something happens, they still have enough time to take care of it, and a moat slows them down. And to avoid ogres, I did this so I don't have to use any gates, and I haven't seen any catapults since. So I've been doing the 3x3 design and um, strategically, so I have one in the middle of town, they target everywhere, and I decided to put one over here to really just kill all the dragons I come by. And this is pretty much my whole garden, or I mean not garden, farming area over here. And then we hit a food problem, so then I made some extra food over here. I think I might need to add more granaries. Let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, we're good. Never mind. Yeah, we're good. Um, so yeah, we're we're full on that. We're food problems good. Happiness is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> and then I really decided to play around with the villas and some of the um, other materials. And look, as you can see, we have a nice little section over here of it. Whoa. Okay. We have a nice little section over here that pretty much has everything we need. Um, we have the water supply in the middle, which then gives all of these um, water. And then a nice little area in the middle that they all can have fun and enjoy. I'm actually really happy with this. This actually turned out really well. Um, if I was more careful with building, I could have done something similar like this with all the other homes, but I kind of just did my normal design here. Um, I also kind of took priority and started really focusing on collecting resources here, because we have a shit ton, and it's crazy. So I'm still kind of focusing on the fence, but I also do want to really um, increase my population. So what I'm thinking of this is having small little pockets like right here, one right like here, and then possibly another subsection right over here, which then cuts the line down over this way. And that takes a lot of peering, and I'm going to peer this all off as well, but that's going to be a long time. So I'm just going to, I most likely won't come back until this is all peered off, just to, you know, save myself. Um, <laughs> we actually could start, oh. We can start now. Right? Okay, so I actually, one thing I've been doing is turning these guys off. That's actually, mm, I really want to do that now. Um, maybe after this raid, uh, and we do all that, I'm going to try to maybe subsection off all that and try to get more homes. Um, so we have this giant line here. I'm not sure what I want to do with it. Um, kind of, That's kind of a problem I have. So I kind of want to do is put all villas or common houses. I demand for charcoal. This... I never really used this house. 60 people each one. Is that better than this? Wait, let's double check. That is better. By 10. Okay. So I'm kind of saving 10... Sp okay. Yeah, I, okay. I, I see it. Um... And I think what I'm going to do down here is kind of do this. And then we're going to try to, like, mix and match, shove people in and out right over there. So, yeah, it still has water, too. Barely, but, you know, still does. So, yeah, I'm actually going to really increase my population now, or at least try to. This is going to be really interesting. I'm not sure how this is going to go. This can either go really well or really badly, but I'm actually just kind of playing around here. Ooh, right there. I'm just kind of playing around here since um, I already have so much done at year 114. I'm afraid of running out of things to do at year 300. So, yeah, they're going to be a while building this, aren't they? Yeah. Ooh, okay then.
Alright, so this is just um, something I'm just going to say right now. I might have made a massive mistake. And I say this because um, the project I'm working on requires over a thousand people. I'm not feeling it right now. Like, I'm... I think I made a terrible decision, and I'm gonna regret this very... Oh boy, I'm gonna... At least they're getting it done. That's like the biggest project I have I have ever done, I think. Alright, so, my uh, recording for the last year did not wanna... It was corrupted, so that was fun. Um, So, pretty much, there's gonna be a giant skip here, so pretty much... Um, I added more inventory space over here in the middle so we can actually get more stuff going. And I also tried to... Okay, then. Um, <laughs> so, basically, I was hard at work. Um, so, basically, we kind of expanded. I really worked on it. This part I really, you know, loved so much. I actually decided to overcap this area and really focus on what I wanted to do. And we did it. This is really the kind of play like gameplay i kind of want to do here as you can see nice kind of even symmetrical in this area with trees these people are super happy okay maybe not because of taxes but you know we don't care um <laughs> and as you can see i love what i did with this little witch hut thing you know oh she needs us okay I talk, talk again in seven years but you know that was really nice what i did right here i really love the dlc um and then, you know, of course, I'm going to try to expand up here. Maybe just make this a giant farm, but decorate it. I'm not sure. And what I might do is try to add more homes over here. Because currently, we're rocking at 3,519. And look at this place. This, this is what I want my main city to be with a castle behind it and maybe statues on each side. But we couldn't get that, so I decided to do this instead and really customize the middle. I really love this. Oh. I had, I had no idea what to do, but I just decided to do it this way. And, oh, look at that. Mm, mm, look at this view. Look, look at this. I I would love, I would pay all the rent to live here. Like, you get the, you get the jousting arena, you get the fucking homes, you got, like, oh, and, like, you know, utilities on this side. So I have another thing for right here, whatever it's going to be. Like, you know, if I need more markets, I got it. Oh. <gasps> 100% happiness. I do need to increase my fishing pork, but... Oh, it just got done. Perfect. And then, um... I'm not sure... I'm, I don't think I'm gonna... Ex well, okay. I might, actually. Like, I might just cut this whole line off and then have them come down here. Now, we did realize something... I did realize something which was kind of funny. Um, so the Vikings have been going down this way. And they go this way. But they turned into this way because of this. Right here. Well, actually, thinking about it now, they might not like the... Okay, you know what? You're right. Fuck it. This, honestly, is going to be a problem. And I don't like that. I don't like problems. I like getting rid of them whenever I can. So, as you can see, we're going to get rid of that now. Um. So, yeah. The boats have been going down this lane. I added these ballist more ballistas recently. Now, they've been going down this lane and immediately getting shotgun blasted by ballistas. So, last uh, Viking attack, they... One that got through, but they died immediately from the ballista, so it's like it doesn't matter. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. And this, right here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the church. Look at it. If it, if everything wasn't in the way, it would be prettier, but, like, as you can see, I'm pretty happy with it. Actually, I should... Oh, wait, you can't. Never mind. I thought I could put something right here, but it's, it's so weird the way it is. Oh, I, I do. I really do like the statues, but it's just so hard to put them in the right place without overdoing it. I, I think I didn't overdo it, but, you know, other people might disagree. So, yeah. Ooh, I got a text. So, <laughs> what I might do for year 300 is finish, maybe capture all this area, but then also maybe add more homes. I'm not sure. I kind of want to reach 5,000 population after this. Oh, they're not done building, though. But I'm not sure yet. Um, I really need to see what I can really do here i could maybe do something right here but it eh, i don't know it might root no it might not who knows but yeah so far we're doing good I'm really happy about everything that's kind of concerning why is my wood so low oh wait that's why because i didn't put on tree filler okay there we go so I, I just finished that up and i apparently just made the biggest wood cutting project in my fucking life uh, over a thousand woodcutters just to cut all these forests down. It's, it's wild. It's crazy. Oh no, that's not good. 
Please tell me they're not going this way, because that actually might be bad. Oh, God. Well, you get to see a Viking attack. Might as well just add that in. Well, let me show you how the dragons live. So they come over here thinking they're going to have a good time, but then they get hit by this guy, and then they say, oh, fuck, and fly away. Exactly like right there. And then it's going to happen to this guy. Oh, God. Um... They're definitely taking a lot of people here. Oh, they... Oh, God. Oh, no. Please. Actually, wait. Where's the... Oh, there's the catapult. Oh! Straight up gets shot by lightning. So, yeah. This is kind of how it goes. Yep. And then they just die. They just straight up just die. Because then they go right here. Normally, I would recommend putting a knight right there, because I've been doing this technique to avoid ogres, but I'm kind of lazy here. Nice. Yep, and just like that, they're all dead. Except for that guy. That was kind of annoying. Alright, so we're back at year 246, and I just, I'm just i just so happy with what I just accomplished. I, I just jumped the gun on it. So, look at this. This is what I wanted my entire kingdom to sort of look like or fall into roots of we need more charcoal so we're gonna get to that next so as you can see this oh oh i'm so happy with this look at this we've got our massive farm here to feed our entire population and then look at oh oh i just like no words can describe with how happy i am with this like look at that oh oh you really, oh, I outdid myself, I gotta say. Look at that, nice. Each place has their own irrigation, a nice little fucking statues everywhere. Got this set up, because I actually lost where I put my other barracks in this giant mess. Um, then we have a bathhouse with the irrigation, kind of all, you know, with each other. So we do need to increase our charcoal, so let's actually go over here really quick. Oh my god. Um, okay, well, that's a lot of wood. So... We need to kind of get rid of something here. Um, honestly, get rid of this. Because what we're going to do here is kind of just fix it up on the side. So I wasn't able to get my jousting arena. Um, it just didn't make sense. Well, actually, well, I can't really get it. Why? No, wait a minute. Could I actually get my jousting arena in? Um, I kind of don't like... I mean, if I got rid of that... Ooh. Actually, yeah, let's just do that, actually. So we can actually get the jousting arena in there and say, you know, fuck it. We, we flexing. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Mm. I'm so happy with this. That's a lot of dead bodies. <laughs> so let's see here. Uh, they want a tavern and library. Okay, we'll get that done soon. But, so I kind of wanted the walls to be with um, the new houses. And a lot of people are asking all the mods I use. Um, I'll put all the mods down in the description if you get to this point. Um, so yeah. And, oh, I just really love the statues and how I use them. Man, look at this. Oh, ooh, ooh, mm. And then it's kind of connected. I did get rid of a lot of defense, mainly because um, we don't really need it anymore. Because if they get past, they get past. I have, like, military now. If I want to, I can literally fix everything I want. Let's just get three more of these guys. Our wood production is definitely going to go down a little bit. Yeah, 182. So then we're still having issues about Vikings going up this way, but it's been... It's been alright. Now, hmm. If only I had the patience to kind of, like, start off the kingdom kind of like this. And, you know, kind of like... Oof. I, I mean, I might do that and just try to, like, glorify or, or, like, beautify our kingdom every step of the way so we don't have, like this like single like i mean i'm okay with the single roads but i wish i just did it better um and that's why it, it matters how like what you do early game matters end game like end game look at this ignore all the x's because we have a um maybe a uh maybe have a charcoal problem but i'm gonna address that later so what i'm gonna just do next is kind of just like do kind of beautify the same areas like up over here and then down here it's kind of what I'm just going to do till year 300, or at least get as far as I can till year 300. And like I said, this is going to be a quicker video I'm going to put up and have another video coming out um, the same week as I put this one up. So let's hope I remember to do that. All right, everyone. So we're it's almost near year 300, but we've pretty much got a lot accomplished here. 
So here's what I worked on when we were gone. So as you can see, I made another jousting arena to get happiness up. So we are running into a bit of a food issue, uh, but it seems to be fixing. Um, I had this population for a while, but then all of a sudden the food just tanked. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. So yeah, here we are right now. I added a little bit more farms to kind of fix it, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I th Oh, wait a minute. Thinking about it now, I should have maybe placed more bakers because I think that would have stored more food oh well but as you can see i've been really utilizing it being creative with like lakes so we have like a nice little you know lake or whatever it is little pond here with like a statue nice um quarry area and then kind of the same concept of the uh, concept over there but over here we have a nice um lady statue with a fountain in the middle which then you know you can enjoy the garden along with enjoying you know the trees <laughs> i'm actually really happy i'm i want to do this more in a longer video but a bigger video as well also nice <laughs> and then i just kind of slapped some stuff around over here to make everything work um you know a little bit of decorations the theater has some nights which is pretty cool and yeah that's pretty much all i pretty much got done here is kind of like restructuring trying to organize everything and i'm still really happy that's a lot of wheat so funny enough we have so much wheat these stores aren't being filled they're just being taken almost immediately and we have a little bit of a food problem but that's still fine to me um but yeah so much land is for food here because oh oh wait i could have added more to over there oh well so we kind of started from here and then we kind of grown out to there. I really wanted just to next video. I'm going to really try to make a fancy kingdom that actually looks like this. Yeah, like this is what I want to see in this game. I wish it was different ways to make different roads and stuff like that. It could add like small benches and stuff like that. But like this, I'm actually really happy about this design right here with the statues. I'm definitely going to do that again. Oh, hmm. Definitely gonna do like maybe like how to build tutorial. <laughs> I'm also kind of happy with this. It's kind of like the most basic idea, but it works. Like, look at that. Hmm. Like the kingdoms right there, and then theater right there. Kind of the same gist. And then you know, I kind of okay. Never mind. I actually do really like this. I wish uh, I decorated a little bit more so we didn't have warehouses on the side. Um, kind of keep those away, make an industrial area, and then a living area would be nice. Definitely going to do this thing with the church again and the um, villas. I feel like this actually was a really good um, thing to work with. What in the hell? Oh my god. So, okay, so this is one thing I've been doing as well where um, using moats and then putting uh, towers to help with killing the... Oh my god. Uh, oh, it can't target them. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, that's a problem. That's a big problem that we need to stop right now. Come on. You got a mission here. Uh-oh, they aren't going to make it. Come on, just stop attacking. Just get over here. Thanks for that game. But yeah, let's fix... We're going to have to stop this problem now. But yeah, I'm going to try to do more of this technique. Um, and I highly recommend if you're watching this and got to this point, do this way so you don't have to deal with ogres. Of course, you're going to have to deal with catapults. Uh, they have a specific range, like little um, range they can't shoot at, which is kind of interesting. I keep forgetting about that all the time. But, you know, um, yeah. So I'm going to try to do something like this next time. Yeah with more time and really think it through it might be a little longer video but that's fine i know a lot of people like longer videos but you know i'm not sure what i'm gonna do for my next video but with all that being said enough of me yapping thank you for watching and see you guys next time